Bon voyage! We are off on an adventure. The Upon This Rock campaign builds onto St. Peter's legacy. While building upon the legacy, our students will study abroad at Southwest High School to fulfill the mission of the Upon This Rock capital campaign. Bon voyage! St. Peter's alumni move on, but many come home. I think I wanted to recreate um, my childhood of the 1980s for my children. I can't think of a better way to um, grow up. I, I have friends that I've made at St. Peter's in the second grade. It's home. Yeah, coming back to St. Peter's is like coming home. There's so many alumni that have come back with their kids and knowing all of them is fantastic. And our kids getting to play with their kids and it, it's just so fun. Alumni share their happiest moments. We've lost every single game and then we played this, our last game of the season. We were all good friends, we hugged each other, we cried and it really was something that I was very happy and, and proud of that we um, stuck together in the end. I ran for student council against none other than Jim Cosgrove, Mr. Stinky Feet, and I won. After Thanksgiving, we got to practice for the Christmas program. But I was always a little disappointed I never got to be Baby Jesus because my birthday's on Christmas. Yeah, you should have been Baby Jesus, yeah. Put Skittles on all the frogs' tongues to make them all different colors. <laughs> and then everyone came back to, you know, to do dissection, and they were all like, why is my frog's tongue green? Why is my frog's tongue purple? <laughs> Our teachers have been a positive, lifelong influence on the lives of alumni. My name's Mary Kate Duffy and I teach third grade at St. Peter's. Anna Edwards, who was my third grade teacher um, as a student, and I learned so much from her and then now I'm teaching third grade with her. But Sandy Kopp was my social studies teacher and um, after teaching here at St. Peter's for a long time. Uh, got me hooked on history, so, and I'm a historian today, I'm a professional historian. Later became Mrs. King. She was my second grade teacher, and I think she was the one that taught me that I could be competitive and could be the top of the class if I put a little effort into it. I liked having the nuns. I felt like they, they held the bar pretty high. There were so many just strong women. And oh, yeah, she was too. Yeah, she was. She was She was what do we want for our children? Things that I would just hope for and wish for were the things that I received, which would be respect for others, loving others, and being assistance to others that are in need. Like this is where I knew I would come home to. Um, it was beautiful. Well, I see the overall piece of what I want kids to be, my own kids and, and any student who walks through the doors. They get a great academic education, they get the foundation for learning, but they become great people. Since 1929, the St. Peter's community has always responded when there is a need. The need is now. We have an opportunity to build on St. Peter's extraordinary legacy. Support St. Peter's students study abroad.